morning, YouTube beauties, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about skincare for super oily, super congested skin. Now, this is my updated skincare routine. I posted one last year around this time, I think, but a lot of things have changed since then. So to start off the video, I do have oily skin in my T-zone, and I do have really congested skin, like, around my chin area. I get occasional breakouts when it's like that time of the month, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, I tend to not get very many breakouts or anything. That's just a quick history of what my skin type is. So if you are similar, then maybe some of these things will work for you. So let's just jump into it. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. So first I'm going to talk about how I take off my makeup. I use the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. And as you can tell, this is my second tub of this. I used to use the Neutrogena makeup removing wipes, but I use those more for like touch up things now, but it's not something I use to remove my makeup on a daily basis. This is what this cleansing balm looks like. It Clinique does have a cleansing oil, but I like the balm and what it is is it's solid and then I take a little q-tip so I don't get like too much of it. You really don't need that much and I take a little q-tip and I put it in my hands and I rub it together. It becomes like this milky consistency and then you just rub it on your face and this is awesome for taking off eye makeup as well. I never had an issue with it stinging my eye or causing any irritation on my eyes with taking off my eye makeup and it takes off mascara so, so good. And this does get almost every single piece of makeup off my skin. I, you know, I go and I cleanse and then I do my toner and that kind of stuff. I never have excess makeup still on my face. So this does an awesome job. I will never go back to makeup remover wipes. This does such a better job. And it actually saves me a lot of money because this is like 20 something dollars on Sephora. And the Neutrogena wipes were like $10 and I'd replace them like, I'd say every like three weeks. So this actually was a money saver for me. It lasts a really long time. And then once I am done taking off my makeup, I will go in with this Kate Somerville Exfolicate Cleanser, and it's their daily foaming wash. Now, the reason why I gravitate towards this is just recently, actually, I wanted to switch up my skincare routine. I was not happy. My skin was super congested. The cleanser I was using before was preventing breakouts, but since that's not really my main issue, I decided to switch it up a little bit. I tried this one particularly because it has AHAs in it. The AHAs in here are pumpkin, papaya, and pineapple enzymes. So I found out that my skin does really, really well with BHA, which is like salicylic acid, um, glycolic acid, stuff like that, and AHAs. So, you know, like fruit, enzymes, stuff like that. And this is an exfoliating cleanser, but kind of not. Um, it has little beads in there, but it really is like the lightest exfoliation you could ever get out of something. I still use this morning and night and I love it. The smell is amazing. It smells like cucumbers and like pineapple. It's so fresh and it wasn't that expensive. This was $38, but it's going to last me a really, really long time. I am extremely, extremely happy with how this cleanser has been doing on my skin. I mean, the first night that I used it, I mean, I could tell that some of the blackheads on my chin were gone and it was like mind blowing. If you're interested or, you know, wanted to try a medicated cleanser um, that does have BHAs and AHAs in them. I would recommend this one. I did try the Derma Doctor oh, ain't misbehaving, something like that. But the packaging, the packaging killed me. I could not get the product out of the pump and it killed me. But that's how I actually found out how I like AHAs and BHAs in my cleanser. I've never used that before. I was really, really happy to find this as an alternative in Sephora considering Ulta and Sephora really doesn't carry that many cleansers that have AHAs and BHAs in them. And it says that this is for all skin types, but it does really good at helping get out any gunk or like black heads that you really don't want in your skin, I find that it does a really good job at getting rid of those. So I use this morning and night. Every two or three days, I switch up my cleanser for this Murad AHA BHA exfoliating cleanser. It says, polishes away dullness and excess cellular debris, priming skin for treatment products, reveals a smoother texture and more even toned complexion without irritation. So this is more of an intense exfoliating cleanser, so that's why I don't use it every day, but it has salicylic, lactic, and glycolic 
hyaluronic acids to increase cell turnover for softer, smoother skin. It says there's jojoba beads in here and there's sodium PCA to help skin retain moisture and elasticity. Going along with the AHA BHA thing, it has everything that I need in here. I just don't want to use it every single day because you don't want to ex over exfoliate your skin because then you can start getting really irritated and that stuff is happening. So you can really overdo it easily. So I only just kind of use this every two or three days. I look at my face the next morning and my skin looks so much better. I can already tell that there's reduced blackheads and it's almost it almost clears it up overnight. If you have a really congested skin like I do, I would highly, highly recommend getting this. This is also the other cleanser that they have at Ulta and Sephora that has AHA and BHAs in them. This is freaking awesome, so go get it. <laughs> The next thing I use to clean my face is this Kate Somerville Clarifying Treatment Toner. Now this is for oily skin. It says it helps to reduce shine, clarify skin without stripping or over drying. Phytic acid helps to brighten skin tone, creating a look that is refined, refreshed, and renewed. So what's awesome about this is you take this off and it's a little pump. So you take like a little cotton swab and you push down and it gives you the the right amount of product. And I'm not gonna lie, I like that my name is on it. <laughs> this has been so good to my skin. It just feels almost tingling. It feels like it's actually working and it really doesn't feel like my face is super dry or tight afterwards. I just like it in conjunction after this guy. After I use my toner, I go in with the Bare Minerals Skin Longevity Vital Power Fusion. This is a serum. I have, this is my third bottle and I don't like I change up skincare pretty often. Um, so I'm surprised everything stayed the same. Like the, you can tell if you like something a lot, if it stays the same, you don't change it up. This guy makes me feel like I am at a spa. And I use two pumps in my hand after my toner. This serum has life herb extract at its core. So that means that it's supposed to promote skin's natural vitality while replenishing it with moisture and usefulness. So this is really supposed to be good for if you want products around aging I would definitely recommend this. This feels so luxurious it's almost like you're going to a spa and it really does help with fine lines and wrinkles and I just I love the way it feels I love the way it smells and it has a pump. If you're looking to smooth out your skin and to help with fine lines and stuff like that get this serum you won't regret it. Now in the morning and in the evening I have different moisturizers that I use. In the morning time I do use a lightweight moisturizer then I use something a little heavier at night. For the daytime I use this Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. This is my third bottle I think. This is awesome for oily skin. Your skin feels like hydrated but it actually sinks down to quite a matte finish which is super super awesome. I love that it has a pump and it's actually pretty affordable. It says it helps to soften, smooth, and improve the texture and condition of your skin. I have been so happy with this. I really, really believe in gel moisturizers over cream moisturizers if you do have congested and oily skin, just because cream moisturizers really can be a little too heavy and do more harm than good. This is probably my favorite thing in my skincare routine. It's so, so good. And then at nighttime for my moisturizer, I use the Tarte Drink of H2O Hydra hydrating boost. Now the only thing I don't like is that it's in a tub. I hate that. I was looking online the other day for something that was like as good as this but in a pump and I couldn't find it so I will stick to this. It looks like this. Something that's similar to it can be um, the Neutrogena Hydra the hydrating boost little gel moisturizer thing. I used that before I used this. I love the scent of this. It is citrusy so it's really pleasant to put on but it kind of looks like a water-based gel so it's not super super heavy but it does a really good job at keeping my skin moisturized and it's just a little heavier than the Clinique one. This is also like my third or fourth jar. I love this. I hope this video was beneficial to you guys who can relate to what my skin type is and what you're going through and kind of like what you're looking for in a skincare routine. Let me know down in the comments below what is really beneficial for your skin and what your skin type is and stuff like that. I would love to hear about it. Please like this video. If you did like me talking about skincare, you can definitely do more skincare stuff and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. I do have 
have Twitter and Instagram for my channel, so check those out if you want to be updated when I post a new video and what I play with and what I love makeup wise. So if you're interested, then follow me there. And I think that's it. So have a good day and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Hey my YouTube beauties and welcome back to my channel today. I am going to do a tutorial plus my first impressions of the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Celestial and Moonlight. If you are interested in seeing what I think of these products,